We covered protests this weekend calling for more Loveland officers to be held accountable, but we are hearing from others who say this was a few bad apples. A John Stout man wanted to share his story. He also had confrontations with the Loveland police, but with a very different outcome. Here's Denver 7's Lance Hernandez. I was delivering food to a military base, uh, just one of my regular stops. Shannon Wilson was delivering produce from Yancey's Food Service in Loveland to Kirtland Air Force Base in Albuquerque back in 2013. They stopped my truck, said it was hot for explosives. He says MPs pulled him out of his truck, twisted his arms to cuff him, then raised them over his head, tearing tendons, a rotator cuff, and causing spasms, which led to several broken teeth. Said it never happened. They said they had no video of it. He sued the U.S. government and settled out of court. Wilson says he underwent several surgeries and was prescribed 16 medications which had side effects, among them aggression. He said he had multiple interactions with Loveland police. I was abusive, antagonizing them, trying to fight them. He says Loveland police never abused him or got out of line. They actually showed me compassion and they showed me love and mercy. I'm going home. Wilson has seen video of other officers arresting Karen Garner, a 73-year-old with dementia. It was sickening. He says Garner presented no threat. He doesn't think it was a training issue. The woman had flowers in her hand. In her hand. And it's, it's a heart issue. That's what I think we're dealing with here, just a heart issue. Yesterday, dozens of people rallied in support of Miss Garner. Three officers involved have left the department. The rally participants want more officers held accountable. But Wilson says he worries the entire department is being tarnished by the actions of a few officers and that some good ones will leave. The dangers that can happen when you run off good police officers, it's, it can be detrimental to the community. So we want change, we want accountability, but we could be going in a different direction with our entire police department if we do not be careful of what we're saying and doing. He wants people to take a deep breath and let the remaining officers grow, learning from the others' mistakes. Lance Hernandez, Denver 7.